Yeah, North Dakota State was uh, lost 3-0, but I um, actually felt that we played pretty well at times and dominated um, in certain uh, periods of the game. But uh, we made some mistakes, and they're a very good team, and they capitalized on those mistakes. They punished us for um, some mistakes we made, but um, uh, they're just a good team. They're a solid team all around, and uh, we just didn't take our chances on the day and didn't do enough to win the game. So they deserve the win. Yeah, they're a very good team. They're a solid team. Um, you know, both games we had uh, some kind of uh, weather, some wind to, to deal with, and um, kind of, you know, both teams had to deal with it, and, you know, they dealt with it better than, than we did. And um, South Dakota is just a solid team, and, you know, they deserve the win. Again, um, they were just very, very good, and we were kind of on the back foot for a lot of the game. There were certain times during the South Dakota game we – um, did have we may have had some opportunities to go forward, but we just didn't have enough on the day, and uh, they thwarted any kind of effort that we made to go forward. Backline is solid, goalkeeper was solid. Uh, I think Lisa Underwood kind of came close, closest um, in the first half when uh, she uh, she forced a defender to make a mistake and had a shot on goal, but we really didn't create enough chances to really threaten South Dakota State at all. Well, you know, we need to play these next four games with the same kind of intensity we went in at the beginning of the season. We need to finish out just as strong as uh, we had started. Um, so, you know, these next two home games are going to be really important for us. We wanted to take care of all of our home games. We've taken care of one out of two so far. Um, and we know we need to perform well. These two teams are going to come in here and try to fight for points. Oral Roberts, are, um, they have a a few wins under the belt and they're going to look to get a win and kind of threaten to get that fourth spot um, in the conference tournament. So we know we're going to be up against it on uh, on both days. Um, so the Utah always come in and, and play a tough game against us, a very physical team. They're fast, they're very passionate about the game and uh, we're going to have to deal with, with that on Friday. And then on Sunday, you know, we have kind of the emotions of senior day that we'll deal with and, you know, we'll celebrate all our seniors that have you know been around for the last couple of years uh, that have helped us kind of get the program to to where it is right now. So um, you know, senior day will be an emotional day, but uh, also a day that we know we want to take care of business and kind of like say farewell to to those seniors in their last home game um, of their careers. It's actually the second group last year. Um, well, we had two people, so I guess not a group, but we had two seniors last year that have been, you know, through the, the entire uh, four-year cycle. But this is the first kind of major group that we've or, uh, we've had come through. So, you know, there are a lot of starters on the team that are seniors, and, you know, people are going to have to fill those shoes next year. And, you know, we, we know losing, like, someone like Ali O last year who played a lot, it was, you know, it was tough to fill those shoes, but girls stepped up and did it. Um, and we'll expect the, the same as we move forward in the spring, but, you know, we do have a, a few seniors that have played a lot of minutes for us and um, given a lot of themselves for the program. So we want to make sure that Senior Day is a special day. And as I said, we'd like to get a win um, and really, you know, give them something to kind of look back on and be thankful for and be happy about.